in this video we will discuss the problem distance from the source using the bellman ford algorithm so the problem says that we have been given a weighted directed and connected graph which consists of v vertices and e edges we have to find the shortest distance of all the vertices from the given source node so from the source node we have to find the shortest distance for all the other nodes present in the graph it also says that the graph does not contain any negative cycle so we'll see this thing as well so we know that if we want to find the distance from the source so we we have another option that is nothing but the dijkstra algorithm and the dijkstra algorithm takes nothing but order of e log v time for the calculation of the distance from the source to all the other vertices but there are certain cases in terms of negative edges negative edge edges where the dijkstra algorithm might fail and in those cases we use the bellman ford algorithm and what does the bellman ford algorithm do so first of all when we talk about bellman ford algorithm so we need to consider some of these steps so basically what happens in bellman ford algorithm is there are three steps the first step in the bellman ford algorithm is that what we do is we first of all have a array we create an array or we you can say that first of all what we do is we mark the distance of the source as zero okay so in bellman ford what we do is, as the first step is we mark the distance of the source node as zero and other than the source node we mark the distance of all the other nodes all the other nodes as nothing but infinity okay initially we'll mark them as infinity and we'll mark the distance of the source node as zero after doing this thing what we do is we run a loop like basically we run a loop how many times v minus 1 number of times we repeat the process we repeat a particular process and what is that process the process is that if 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 it happens like we do this for all the nodes right we do this particular process for all the for all the v vertices right for all the v vertices we follow this particular process that if suppose like if suppose that the distance of u plus w plus w let's say there is an edge there is a u there is a v okay there is an edge going from u to v and the weight is w okay so if the distance of u plus w right so distance of u is what distance of u is nothing but a distance of the node u from the source okay what is distance of v distance of v is nothing but the distance of v from the source node so if suppose that there is another path that you are following and distance of v is there that is the distance of v from the source node okay through that part you are getting this distance of v so if the distance of uh, u plus w if this particular distance if this particular path okay if this particular path suppose we are following it from the source node if this particular path if it is lesser if this the distance of this particular path to v if it is lesser than the distance of v okay so what does that mean so that means that if we are following some other path to reach v uh, some other path to reach v from the source node and it is taking more code if it if it is taking more cost compared to the uh, compared to passing from u to v using this particular path then in that case what we will do is we will say that okay distance of v is equal to nothing but distance of u plus w okay so we basically perform the relaxation process or we basically update the distance of our node v because if we have a path that is of shorter cost that gives us lesser cost so we'll try to follow that particular path okay so this we do for all the possible all the vertices of the graph and we do this v minus 1 number of times after we have done this so we also perform the relaxation process process for one last time okay we also uh, do this for one last time but let us try and understand what happens basically so suppose that if we like we'll understand first of all why we do this third particular process why do we why we do the third method here okay so what we will be doing here is we will simply say that we will start okay we will simply say that okay we will start and what we will be doing here is we will simply let's say we have a graph okay suppose we have a, have a graph like a then we have a pointing to b okay then b is pointing to c and after that let's say c is pointing to a okay if this thing is happening and the path this path is 5 this path is let's say 6 and this path is let's say minus 12 so initially you will mark what you will mark the source node let's say is a so you will mark it as 
other paths you will mark them as infinity right other for the other vertices you will mark the distance as nothing but the infinity okay after you doing this what you will do is you will perform the operation if the vertices number of vertices here is 3 so you will perform that particular operation two times so let's say you perform the relaxation process uh, for all the vertices for first time so initially this is zero then i can say that i can reach b in lesser time i can reach b instead of in infinity i can reach b from the source in five units of time then if i see from b to c there is an edge going and the distance of c from the source is infinity but it can be updated to six because six uh, is lesser okay after that if i see for this particular path for a to c then i can say that okay this particular path is uh, can also be made less because minus 12 plus 6 will be nothing but what minus 12 like uh, sorry i have made one mistake this path would be nothing but 12 like 11 then i can say that 11 minus 12 is nothing but minus 1 so this gets updated to minus 1 so i've performed the operation for the first time now i'll try to perform it for the second time as well in this graph so what i'll do is again if i see so minus 1 plus 4 plus 5 is what 4 so basically instead of 5 now I'll write a 4 because the distance get updated to 4. Similarly, 4 plus 6 is what? 10. So instead of 11, I can have a 10 here. Then 10 minus 12 is what? It is minus 2. Okay. So this is how I have updated the values. So let me erase the previous values. And these are the updated values that I am currently having. Now, one thing that we can observe from this part is we have said that, okay, we'll perform a relaxation process. So we'll perform the same process for one more time. And we will see that whether any node gets updated or not. So if we see from A to B, so minus 2 plus 5 is what 3 so that means this distance get updated to 3 but according to the bellman ford algorithm if if the graph does not contain any negative weight cycle so the step 2 should be done and no further update should be required in this in this after doing the step 1 and step 2 the bellman ford algorithm says that you would be able to find if there is no negative weight cycle existing then you would be able to find the shortest path from the source to all the other vertices present in the graph but if there is a negative cycle existing then you can see that there is one more relaxation that is happening okay so that is that is why we apply the relaxation process now if we consider this particular problem so in the node part we can easily observe that the problem setter has given that the graph does not contain any negative cycle so here the graph does not since the graph does not contain any negative cycle so in that case we can say like what what is the negative weight cycle so if we see the overall weight of this cycle so that was nothing but 5 plus 6 and minus 12. So that is nothing but minus 1 overall, which is negative. So if the weight of a particular graph cycle is negative, so that is considered as a negative weight cycle. And for that, we cannot find the distance. Okay. So if we will observe on this case, if you observe for this case, so it is actually not possible. But the problem says that we do not re require the step number 3, the, the relaxation part checking again, because the graph does not contain any negative weight cycle. So here we will not be applying the second, uh, th the third step. We will just be applying the first and the second step for applying the Bellman Ford algorithm. Now let us understand this with the help of another example. Uh, I'll draw one of the steps. Like let's say if I have been given a graph which has five vertices. So in that case, I will have V minus one is equal to four. So four times I have to pro uh, do the relax relaxation process. So if, uh, if, if for any vertices, if the distance of u plus the distance of plus the w is lesser than the distance of v then the distance of v would get updated so let us say that if i have a graph where i have a then let's say i have b let's say i have c let's say i have d and let's say i have a e okay and suppose the edges are going like this there's an edge from a to b there's an edge from a to c then there's an edge from c to d there's an edge from d to e there's an edge from e to b then there's an edge from b to c then there is an edge from B to D, okay? If these are the edges, so suppose I mark them with some values. So let's say I mark this as 1, I mark this as 4, uh, let's say I mark this value as minus 2, let's say I mark this value as 3, I mark this value as 4, I mark this value weight, uh, weight edge as minus 3, this as 2, okay? So in this case, I'll perform the operation 4 number of times. But here I'll try to perform it just one time to show you how it's actually happening. So from like initially what I will do is, initially obviously I'll mark all the distances as infinity other than the source node so source will be marked as zero all the other distances shall be marked as infinity all the other nodes okay then if i move from uh, a to b then the distance is actually one zero plus one is one so i'll update this distance in instead of infinity i'll update it to one then from b to c if i see so b to c is what one minus two so that's nothing but one instead of infinity i can have a minus one here okay 
Then if I see for uh, another case, when I see for A to C, so A to C is 4 actually, but I have a distance better that is minus 1. Then if I'll consider another case, let's say for C to D, so C to D is nothing but uh, C, C to D is what? Like C to D if I'll consider, like let's consider first of all B to D. So B to D will be nothing but 1 and plus 2, so it will be 3. Then another case if I consider, if I consider let's say C to D, so C is minus 1. Then uh, D is what? Uh, like C, the path from C to D is 3. So minus 1 plus 3 gives me 2. So 2 is better. So I'll update it to 2. Then from D to E, I can uh, move in f with 4. So D is actually 2. So E is what? E, like the distance from D to E, the weight is 4. So that means total, it will be 6. Okay. So E gets updated to 6. Then from E to B, what will happen is, I'll have a value as minus 3. Okay. So my six um, six minus three will be three so that will not get updated so this is what will happen after the first process so we can similarly apply this particular process for v minus one number of times okay i've just applied it for one time we'll apply this relaxation process again and again for v minus one number of times okay after this part is done so we'll get the distance for the the shortest part from the source node to all the other nodes and the problem, uh, if we look at the problem, so it says that we have to pass infinity as 1e, 8. Okay. So what we'll do here is, we'll simply now try to implement this particular problem in the code, uh, in terms of code. So basically what we will be doing here is, we'll, we will simply have these things. First of all, we'll have the vector int distance. Okay. In the distance, first of all, we'll have v. Okay. And the, all the V nodes will be initializing them as 1E8. Okay. After this part, what we will be doing is, we will simply say that we need to iterate. So how do we need to iterate? So we will iterate, like first of all, we'll mark the distance of the source node as 0. Okay. So initially, we'll mark the distance of the source node as 0. So we'll mark the distance of the source node as 0. Then what we will try to do is, for like int i will start from 0 i is lesser than nothing but the v then uh, like v minus 1 then i will do an i plus plus after this is done so what i will do is i'll run for all the vertices so like each vertices will, will consist of three values if i consider a path from u to v okay so in that case there is a there is a weight w okay so if u to v i'm having a path okay so the weight is w so u is what let's say the there's a node 3 from node 3 i'm going to node 4 and the weight of that particular thing is weight of that particular edge is 1 okay so these three informations i'll be given uh, so in terms of a uh, you can see adjacency list in, is in terms of a vector of int okay so i'll have int edges okay is to adjacency then what i'll do is i'll iterate through the edges so basically what i'll do is u is equal to nothing but edge of 0 okay then int v is equal to nothing but edge of 1 then int w is equal to edge of 2 okay these are the things that we'll be having and then what we'll do is we'll try to perform the relaxation so if the distance of if the distance of u okay plus the w if it is lesser than the distance of v in that case, what we will do is we'll update the distance of v to we'll update the distance of v to nothing but the distance of u plus the w as we have the, the edge weight that we have already discussed. Okay, that is how it will get updated for n minus one number of times. We'll do this for every pair for every vertex like for every u to v pair that has been given we'll do this particular relaxation and in the end we'll return the distance we do not need to proceed with the third step here the reason for that is very simple because we the problem says that we have not been given any negative edge weight cycle okay so there is no uh, negative weight cycle so let us try and compile this code and see if it can work on the samples okay so we are getting some errors here okay so i should declare it as edge instead of edges now let me try and compile this okay we are getting another error so what is the other error uh, if i see this so vector int distance is what we are having we are having distance of v and we are starting our i from 0 then i is less than v minus 1 we are doing we are iterating for it uh, through the adjacency 0 edge, edge of 0 edge of 1 and w is edge of this 
then if the distance of uh, okay i've made spelling mistake here so now let us make some changes now let us try and compile this code okay still we are getting an error okay the, it should be distance of uh, u not not u basically v now let us try and compile it should work on the samples at least let us submit this code so you can see that our solution was able to pass all the, for all the test cases and now talking about the time time complexity of this particular code so the time com complexity of this code will be nothing but order of v cross e because we are running for all the vertices through the edges we are running uh, through all the edges we, like that is u to v okay then what we are doing is if we consider the space complexity so it will be nothing but order of v where v is the number of vertices in case if you understood this explanation so make sure to hit the like button and comment on understood as well thank you